In the palm of our hands, nestled within our smartphones, lies a power so profound it shapes our thoughts, controls our actions, and predicts our every move. This power is artificial intelligence, or AI, a tool that has revolutionized our world. But as we navigate through our digital lives, how much do we truly understand about the AI operating silently in the background? Join us as we uncover the truth behind the algorithms that know us better than we know ourselves. Explore the ethical dilemmas they present and question what the future holds in a world where our most intimate device knows our deeper secrets. In this episode of I Want That. smartphone spying on you? Can artificial intelligence breach your privacy? These are the questions that lurk in the shadows of our tech-driven world. Today, artificial intelligence, or AI, has woven itself so seamlessly into the fabric of our lives that we're often oblivious to its presence. It's there when we ask Siri to set an alarm, when we ask Google for the quickest route home, or when our photos are automatically sorted by faces and places. The convenience is undeniable, but so too are the potential risks. As AI becomes more sophisticated, it's not just learning our habits, it's predicting them. This omnipresence, however, doesn't come without a price. Our personal data is being used, sometimes in ways we don't fully understand or even consent to. And then there's bias machines learning from us, including our prejudices. With AI getting smarter and more pervasive, it's time to question, at what cost does this convenience come? In the shadows of AI, there lurk unseen threats to our privacy and fair treatment. Imagine this. You download a new app on your smartphone, perhaps a game or a productivity tool. You're asked to accept a long list of permissions. You scroll past the fine print, eager to start using the app, and hit accept without a second thought. What you may not realize is that you've just given this app, powered by AI, access to a wealth of your personal data. Your location, your contacts, even your photos. They're all now part of a vast digital database. This is the dark side of AI on smartphones. It's not just about an invasion of privacy. It's about the collection and use of personal data on an unprecedented scale. Consider an app like TikTok, which has faced scrutiny for its extensive data collection practices. From the moment you download the app, it begins collecting data about your device, your location, and your online behavior. But the dark side of AI doesn't stop at privacy concerns. There's also the issue of bias. AI systems are only as good as the data they're trained on. If this data is biased, the AI will be too. For instance, there have been cases where job recruitment AI systems have shown bias against women or individuals from certain ethnic backgrounds. And then there's the issue of predictive policing, where AI systems are used to predict where crimes will occur or who will commit them. These systems have been criticized for their tendency to over-police certain neighborhoods, often those with a high proportion of racial or ethnic minorities. These examples serve as a stark reminder that AI is not infallible. It can be manipulated, it can be biased, and it can invade our privacy in ways we might not even realize. It's important to remember that these are not isolated incidents. They're indicative of a larger systemic issue with AI on smartphones. These are not isolated incidents, but rather the tip of the iceberg. Remember the Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal? That's AI gone rogue. Let's dive into what happened. In the heart of 2017, a scandal erupted that exposed the underbelly of artificial intelligence and its potential for misuse. Facebook, one of the world's largest social media platforms, was at the center of this controversy. The villain of the piece, Cambridge Analytica, a political consulting firm, was accused of harvesting the personal data of tens of millions of Facebook users without their consent. The sheer scale of this data breach was staggering, but the real shock was how this data was used. Cambridge Analytica employed sophisticated algorithms and AI tools to analyze this data, creating detailed psychological profiles of users. 
These profiles, rich with personal preferences, political leanings, and more, were then used to target individuals with personalized political advertising. Now you may be thinking, isn't that just targeted advertising? But here's the catch. This wasn't about selling shoes or promoting a new movie. This was about influencing democratic processes, the Brexit referendum and the 2016 U.S. presidential election, to be precise. The data was weaponized, used as a tool to manipulate public opinion, exploiting the very essence of democracy. The scandal also raised questions about Facebook's role in this. How could such a massive data breach occur on their platform? It brought to light the tech giant's lax data privacy policies and their complicity in allowing third parties to access user data. The fallout was massive, with Facebook being slapped with a $5 billion fine and its reputation severely tarnished. But the real victims were the users, everyday people like you and me who were unknowingly turned into pawns in a high-stakes political game. It was a stark reminder that in the digital world, you are the product. It was a wake-up call, a lesson in the potential dangers of AI when left unchecked, and the importance of safeguarding our data in this increasingly connected world. In an ideal world, artificial intelligence would be a digital arbiter of fairness, devoid of human prejudices. Unfortunately, we don't live in an ideal world. AI, like any technology, is shaped by the biases of its creators and the data it's trained on. This is particularly evident in facial recognition technology, where racial bias has surfaced in multiple instances. One glaring example is the case of Robert Julian Borchak Williams, an African-American man from Detroit. In 2020, he was wrongfully arrested due to a faulty facial recognition match. This case magnified the system's inability to distinguish between people of color accurately, leading to grave consequences. Even the tech giants aren't immune. In 2015, Google Photos' image labeling system sparked controversy when it mistakenly identified two African-American users as gorillas, a glaring testament to the racial bias inherent in its AI. It's not just about misidentifications. A study conducted by the National Institute of Standards and Technology found that Asian and African American people were up to 100 times more likely to be misidentified by facial recognition technology than white men. Similarly, Native American faces were misidentified 10 times more often than white faces. These instances of racial bias are not just unfortunate glitches. They are symptoms of a deeper problem. Most facial recognition algorithms are trained on data sets predominantly composed of white faces. As a result, these systems are less accurate when identifying people of color. But why is this happening? The answer is simple, lack of diversity in the tech industry. Without a diverse team of creators, AI systems are more likely to perpetuate the biases of a homogenous group. In hindsight, AI is not the impartial judge we might imagine it to be. It mirrors the biases ingrained in its training data and its creators. So the next time you hear someone say that AI doesn't see color, remember AI, it seems, is only as impartial as its creators. AI is not the villain here, but it's not a hero either. It's a tool, a double-edged sword that can be wielded to create miracles or to wreak havoc. It's how we choose to use it that truly matters. Now let's talk solutions. How do we navigate this tricky landscape? Firstly, we need to address data privacy. In an age where data is the new oil, we need to ensure its responsible use. Stricter data privacy laws are a must. These laws should not only protect users' personal information, but also regulate how AI algorithms can access and use this data. It's about setting boundaries, about saying, this far and no further. Secondly, it's crucial to have diverse data sets to train AI. Bias in AI is often a mirror of the bias in the data it's trained on. If we feed our AI systems with more diverse data, we can help mitigate bias. This isn't just about race or gender. It's about age, socioeconomic status, geographical location, and more. Diversity is the spice of life, and it should be the spice of our AI systems too. But let's not forget AI holds great potential. It can streamline processes, save time, and even save lives. 
AI can predict natural disasters, diagnose diseases, and much more. It can be the hero in our story, but only if we guide it correctly. Using AI responsibly means understanding its limitations. It means being aware of the potential for bias and the privacy concerns. It means not blindly trusting the output of an AI system, but questioning it, testing it, scrutinizing it. AI is a tool, and like any tool, it can be misused. But if we use it wisely, if we use it responsibly, we can change the world for the better. We can create a future where AI is a trusted ally, not a feared adversary. As we step into a future powered by AI, we must carry the lantern of privacy and fairness with us. Let's ensure that in our quest for progress, we do not leave our principles behind. So are we doomed to surrender our privacy for convenience? In a world increasingly reliant on smart devices, we've seen artificial intelligence prove both its utility and its potential for harm. We've unearthed the convenience of AI, the ease with which it can predict our needs, streamline our lives, and offer us a world of information at our fingertips. Yet we've also delved into the darker side of this revolution. The privacy invasions, the data misuse, the racial bias in algorithms, all real concerns that accompany the rise of AI in our smartphones. As we navigate this digital landscape, it's essential to remember that the use of AI is not an all or nothing proposition. We can and should reap the benefits of this technology without compromising our fundamental rights to privacy and fair treatment. As we embrace AI, we must also safeguard our rights. It's a delicate balancing act, one that we must master in the AI era. Well, that's all we have for today. If you like this content, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button, it's free. And it really helps with continuing to bring emerging technology discussions. Let me know in the comments below if you've subscribed or any other topics you would like me to explore. You never know, you might see something that will make you say, I want that. Thank you.